Hey, Dr. McNamara here, and today I wanted to talk about one of the most common issues that occurs as we age, and that is called sarcopenia. Now, sarcopenia is defined as age-related skeletal muscle loss. Now, there's ways that we can help mitigate this throughout life, and one of the best ways to do it is to practice plyometric and speed training. Now, as we age, we first lose our speed, next follows our muscle strength, and then we start dealing with actual muscle loss and muscle atrophy. So I'm gonna go over some ways that you can start training your speed and plyometric strength to reduce the effects of sarcopenia that occurs later on in life. Now one of the most common ways to, or one of the best ways to train this is to train lateral type of jumping movements. And the reason why I like to train lateral jumping movements is because a lot of times when we lose our balance, we tend to stick a leg out and fall in either um, the left or right direction. So a great way to train that is just get a little stair step just like this and start with one leg on top and then just work on your landing. It's more common for individuals to get injured on the landing portion, which is the eccentric portion of the jump versus the concentric portion of the jump. Now, it's also very important to practice working in the sagittal plane as well. So another big reason that we fall as we get into elderly age is due to going up and down stairs and things like that. So we wanna work on our ability to uh, work on our eccentric landing in the sagittal plane as well. And a good way to practice this is very similar. Start with one leg on and you're just gonna switch back and forth. So that is great at helping train your body to react to the ground forces as we're moving up and down stairs or if we're falling to the side. Another great way I like to practice and train this movement, and this is more for the speed and power component. So if you're new to these kind of things, be very careful doing this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our landing and how fast we react to that landing and can jump up. So for this exercise, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna jump and then jump immediately as soon as your feet hit the ground. What I want you to focus on is listening to your footstep and trying to get quieter and quieter as you practice this. We don't wanna stomp and then jump because that's gonna be more force that we're absorbing into our lower extremity. So let me show you how I want you to do it. Just like that. 